Is this a valid basic code? And if it is, what the output will be when we run it? We will find out in the next couple of minutes. A couple of days ago I stumbled upon this um, little basic program that um, changes the color of the border. Now what is what is interesting here is that um, it changes it constantly. Um, what's interesting is there is no loops here, there is no um, um, direct way how this uh, program um, continues to, to run to infinite because if we look at these <coughs> lines there is no um, place where it um, jumps back on certain line um, but if we run it it produces this so this is um, quite interesting stuff and we will try to understand why is this um, possible so if we stop it and list one more time so we see on number um, line number 10 we have print then we have character um, 147 which is um, uh, which um, plays the cursor in the upper left corner then it prints this spoke command to change the border color and then it prints this um, variable C and then next line um, it prints um, character 17 which is actually um, um, mo moving of the cursor uh, down and then down one more time and then it prints go to 10 um, and then next line we have uh, incrementing of the variable c and just a simple if <coughs> statement if we reach the maximum number then we switch back to zero, c0 zero. and then we have this uh, line number 25 which is um, full of this poke uh, commands uh, so w what this poke commands are actually doing uh, is um, uh, poking um, 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 character values or keystrokes into the memory and this is uh, keystroke um, 19 which is um, uh, which is um, placing the um, cursor in upper left corner then it places the character 13 which is actually a return key then we have another return key and then we have a poke to um, address 198 uh, with value 3 uh, what this actually is is a keyboard buffer <coughs> and then we uh, just say um, to the kernel that we have three characters to to, um, the, in, the, in the keyboard buffer that we need to process so uh, how this program actually works uh, we will um, do some little debugging so we will produce line number 22 and place end so if we list this uh, okay now we have now this program will end before we reach this <coughs> line number 25 so we can um, demonstrate in slow motion what is happening so if we run this is uh, the output of the program so we have um, poke uh, we have go to 10 <coughs> and ready that's it so what those poke commands do is actually uh, placing the cursor in upper right corner here then um, producing um, um, 
a symbol like we press the return key. So if we re repress the return key, this command will execute it. And now the cursor is uh, right at, at this um, line where, where we have go to 10 command. So if we <coughs> press enter one more time or execute um, enter key, um, it will jump to uh, line 10 uh, on in our program and execute it um, from 10 on and like you, you see on the screen um, this poke command is changed from value from 0 to 1 and then we are ready <coughs> and then the next step is again go here press enter the border is changed and then again enter which then <coughs> execute um, basic program from line 10 so we change to zero and so on and so on so so if we list one more time and if we remove the line 22 and we run it one more time there we go this is what what's happening so there <coughs> um one more um trick here and that is um uh, this um, da -da 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 -da, this line uh, 15 with the go to 10 command uh, why did the author use uh, this go to 10 because he wanted uh, uh, this variable c to be uh, preserved in the memory because if we if we would just said run which is uh, basically the same thing or should be um, <coughs> I'll show you what will happen then the program executed doing the same thing but the C variable is always starting from zero so it's not working so <coughs> I was fiddling a little bit about this and there is no real reason why you should use it these techniques but the technique but it's possible right so I keep wondering if this, if we use the same uh, same concept and this time we um, inject the line into the basic program itself so here's that example so what we are doing here is exactly same thing but we are producing this line um, um, 6 with uh, incrementing value of uh, variable C and <coughs> when we <coughs> execute this line with the <coughs> return command it gets injected into the basic program so if we list the program we will see that the C variable is now 124 so <coughs> Um, it's kind of quirky to do it like this, but okay, it's possible. And what the interesting thing here is because it depends of uh, in depends of this um, keyboard buffer. Um, there is an easy way to break this. If we run it and we just um, in produce um, another. <coughs> Um, inputs from the keyboard itself uh, we can break it easily <laughs> um, but that's um, that was supposed to happen right <coughs> so <coughs> this whole thing keep me keep me wondering uh, what else can be done with this um, um, with this kind of approach to have a basic program that um, uh, prints out some command that get executed on the screen and so on and so on <coughs> so um, what I came up with is um, this um, this is of course not valid basic command yet um, it just uh, uh, here we need to remove line 10 because this is not uh, been it's not been crutched yet 
So what will happen if we execute this um, one line um, basic program? If we press return, it will produce <coughs> another line of um, a valid basic program. And if we execute this line, it will produce yet another line of uh, valid basic program. And if we, if we execute this line, it will produce um, another valid program. And uh, let's go back and up. And if we execute this line, it will produce number one. So <clears throat> this is like a nested nested command inside the nested command inside the nested command um, into one line basic um, uh, command a uh, basic code um, and this is the maximum that I managed to um, join together because the next step actually um, goes beyond the um, maximum number of characters that is um, um, possible to write in the single line of basic so this is um, how is this is done is actually the in the opposite direction that is executed so if we first we have um, print one command that we then the next step is to print print one command and so on and so on. So there you go. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Oh God.